Who knows? <laughs> Maybe this. No, no, say it. It seems like you had a profound thought. No, I didn't. I was going to say, like, we're glad to... Say it. No, say it. It's okay. We're glad to be back. Feels good to be back. On the air. Glad to be back on the air. Back with you guys. Are you even going to include this in the video? I don't know. We could. I don't know. Hey, welcome, my friends, to another episode of The Grab Bag, where we're going to try another root beer today. We're continuing the Orca series with um, Americana. Americana. I think... I don't remember where we got this. Did we get this in Pennsylvania? I don't remember. Okay, I'm not sure where we got this. Do we have a history on this? We do. While you're pouring it, I'll read it. <clears throat> Thank you, Orca, for the, for the little bio. If the name didn't already give it away, Americana, this line of retro soda flavors harkens to the simpler times of soda fountains, sock hops, and five cent sodas. While we can't bring back the five cent sodas, we've tried our best to recreate the taste of classic American flavors. A traditional root beer with hints of vanilla, licorice, and honey. The creamy licorice undertones balances all the flavors together for a smooth, creamy addition to your root beer favorites. Made with pure cane sugar and bottled in a long neck glass bottle. Ooh. So to a simpler time, to a simpler time, back when he was alive. Interesting. Yeah. Has that kind of a darker flavor, almost like a. I don't know. What, I don't even know what it is. It's like a darker. I wanna. I. I wanna say it doesn't feel like it has carbonation, but it does. But it doesn't feel like it. There's something about it that just, I don't know. Almost like a, it's not burnt, it doesn't taste burnt, but it has no. had that, that. That smoky, darker, taste. just see, feels darker. Feeling this? One thing we learned about um, on our tour of Orca is that getting the head, you know, root beer that has a lot of head, that's really difficult for the bottling because if you do that, can you imagine putting all that root beer into the bottle? Gives it a lot of head. Then you can't cap it off, or when you do, when the foam goes down, then you only get half a yeah, bottle. Yeah, like 10 ounces, six ounces. Never would have thought of that. Well, I think they do an amazing job. I like a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know if they have a cream soda on this? I think they have a lot of flavors on this. Because didn't we see a huckleberry Americana? I don't know, maybe. Very harsh after taste, which is no, not that doesn't sound right. A strong aftertaste. It is a flavor that keeps coming. A lot of these root beers, if you've had you know a couple of sips, then the flavor just kind of morphs into nothing. But this has that that heavy dark flavor. And you just have to keep mentioning the dark. Well, I don't know how else to explain it. It's not it's not burnt, but you don't get the you don't have that licorice flavor. You don't have that wintergreen flavor. I kind of, I kind of like this. It, it, I kind of like this label. It's simple, but it looks appeasing. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the name Americana. It makes me feel like it's going to be. It makes me feel proud. Proud, proud to be an Americana. Woo! They all, while we were doing our tour, they also said that the neck labels are also an added difficulty. Mm. Because the, they can, for all the body labels, they can just slap on different labels. But I think they have to calibrate the machine to add on a neck mm. label. Which is interesting because if it's all that work for just a, barely anything, I wonder why they want to do it. Differentiate, set yourself apart. Yeah. Yeah, these, this would be great for a decent warm day. Yeah. Well, who am I kidding? Anything cold is good on a warm day. Am I right? You're right. right. So. I need to find it, out how to do a word of a day soon. We've been running, we've been lacking. Well, I said differentiate, but I don't know if you ever have used that word. I would assume it's different than and she ate. <laughs> How would you spell it? D-I-F-F-E-R. 
uh, hold on, I, I don't even remember how to spell different. D I F F E R E R N T E N T I A T. Okay, well, let's just go with different. How about we just stick with different? I had it in my head and then I thought about entiate and then I forgot how to spell different. D I F F E R E N T. That can't be right. D I F F E R E N T. Okay. I think that's different. Meaning I think you spelled spelling it. Or? I think you've spelled it correctly. Okay, and then entiate, different entiate. D I F F E R E N T E N T I A T E. No way, differ and differentiate. D I F F E R E N T. T I A T E. <laughs> We're going to have a clip where it says, like, five minutes later. <laughs> oh. I think it's different with a I A T E. So D I F F E R E N T I A T E. Is that how I spelled it? I, I spell you, it? you were spelling it a couple different I spe- ways. I think I spelled it six or seven ways. I know, that's kind of like a shotgun approach. Your way is correct. Differentiate. D I F F E R E N T I A T E. And it means to, to make different or set apart. Oh, that's easy to get. Uh, recognize or ascertain what makes someone or something different. Make or become different in the process of growth or de- development. So maybe there you, you go. Work on it. Maybe you need to work on your. Uh, um, hey, this is word of the day, not definition of the day. I forgot the name of that definition. Maybe you need to work on your definition. That's why we have word of the day is to help you remember. Well, no, stuff. this root beer is just getting to the head. Looks like, looks like he's had one too many, huh, folks? Call it. Oh, that's a ball game. That's a ball game. All right. Stay, Stay frosty, frosty, my friends. friends. Maybe you don't have a clue. Crab Bag is here to help you choose. The Crab Bag gives them all a try. And tells you which to buy.